Welcome back, wonderful humans, to uh, Cooper's Cool Clay Corner. I like that a little alliteration. Okay, so today we are going to be um, learning about the coil method for hand building, um, which is, again, the second out of the, the three total hand building um, techniques. So first thing you're gonna do for coil is you have your clay that you wedge, and you're gonna start by tearing off a piece of the clay and just rolling it into a small sphere. Um, again, as you remember from Hinge Pot, anytime you're rolling a sphere, put a little agua on your hands, smooth out the cracks with your thumb or fingers, okay? Kind of as you're rolling it um, until you have like a perfectly smooth sphere that doesn't have any cracks or anything in it. Um, think about like the size of, I don't know, like a gumball or a jawbreaker, at least for this first project. Okay, so then you're, you've got your sphere. So the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna roll that clay in between your palms using like a, a a reasonable amount of pressure so that it starts to kind of turn into like a longer piece of clay. Once the clay reaches about the width of your two palms, um, or is like about the size of like a baby carrot, as I like to say, then you're gonna start rolling it on the table. Again, you have your fabric swatch here. And if you notice any cracks, like I noticed a few cracks, just put a little bit of water on it so that it doesn't dry out. This is a, this is a situation where your clay might crack a lot. Um, and so having water and adding water, um, and then at the same time, okay, now it's like too slippery, so then I'm gonna wipe my hands on my apron, or you know, you got your little t-shirt rag or whatever. Okay, so now you're gonna take it and roll it on the table. What I want you to think about is you're using a light amount of pressure. If I use a ton of pressure, I'm gonna flatten it, right? And if I don't use any pressure, then it's never gonna go anywhere. So you wanna use a reasonable amount of pressure, and you wanna think about your Think about your rolling and trying to like elongate the whole thing. You want the clay to be the same thickness throughout. So you don't wanna just like spend 20 minutes rolling on this one section, this section is teeny tiny, this section is super wide, right? So think about your rolling in the center and kind of like pulling it out, kind of like taffy. Um, a little bit of water, so I'm rolling, pulling ever so gently. Um, this is one of the techniques where I see the most struggles um, due to, again, those things I said before, either too much pressure that you're flattening it or not enough pressure that it's not going anywhere. If you have one side that's a little more lopsided, roll on that section for a little bit um, until it is, you know, the same thickness throughout. And again, I'm using like my whole, all of my fingers. I'm not just like one, one finger rolling away. Um, and again, think about thickness of your pinky is about the maximum can be a little bit skinnier, so this would be like perfect. Think about like licorice, okay? And I'm gonna put some water on it again because I know that coils tend to crack a little bit. Okay, so to start a coil project, you're gonna make your first coil and then you're going to spiral it up. Think about kind of like a snake or like a cinnamon roll. So you're gonna twist it onto itself, okay, to start. And then you're going to, hopefully you're gonna be able to see this, twist it kind of onto itself, um, so that it's touching itself and again looks like either like a snake coiled up or a cinnamon roll and there shouldn't be any gaps okay so it should look kind of like this and then i like to say this is like a little tail and then you just kind of smooth this little tail onto there um so think about this is like a little cookie it's like a little hockey puck this is the base of whatever you're going to build up um so that is your spiral that's how you start and then once you have made this spiral then you're going to smooth it out so again just take your hands and just kind of smooth out all of the lines from the coil so that you don't see them anymore um, on the top, okay? As well as on the base, um, because if there are lines or gaps, this is where um, air can get in and cause your piece to crack, okay? A little bit of water to kind of smooth out as well. Um, and if it's sticking to your fabric, just use your tool there, okay? So then you should have like a little um, again, like a little cookie slice that is sort of, and then like if you have like a weird little tail here, I like to sometimes kind of like roll it on the sides or tap it to kind of even it out and get it to be like perfection. Um, yeah, that's kind of like your base, okay? And again, I'm just going to make something small for the interest of time, okay? So you got your base. 
Now you're going to, and again, whatever you start with, you want going forward to take like the same amount of clay. So again, I'm gonna go with gumball size, a little bit of agua, and I'm just rolling it into a sphere cool. um, in my palms. And I'm gonna do just exactly what I did with the base. So I'm rolling it in between my palms once I make that perfect sphere, okay? Decent amount of pressure. If you feel like you're flattening it out, just kind of squeeze on the opposite sides to get it to be more rounded. And then once you get to that kind of like width where it's starting to hang off of your hands or becoming wider than your palms, um, at that point, put it on the table and start. Start your roll, okay? So I'm like gently rolling, pulling outwards, applying like taffy. If you ever go to like Virginia City and see them like making candy, it's kind of like, that. Very similar to baking, if there's any bakers at home or anybody who helps out with that. Um, there's a lot of crossover between ceramics and baking, so that can be kind of fun. Okay, so I mean, I don't know, this end is a little bit weird, but we're going to go with it. So let's say for the interest of this demo that I'm making um, a cup that's going upwards, right? So then I want it to be the same width all the way across. So I want to make sure that my coil goes exactly on the top of my base and any extra clay that I have, I'm just gonna take my little paper clip or needle tool and cut that off so that it's like fits perfectly, okay? And then to attach, I'm gonna use those three S's that we already learned about, score so smooth, right? So I'm gonna take my needle tool, I'm going to score the base of my coil project, okay? So just like little lines, little hashtags, and then I'm also gonna score my coil itself because as you remember that that scoring is like teeth, like, like grab on. So we don't wanna just put one smooth coil on top of a smooth base. It's just gonna sit there and um, crack and fall apart, right? So I got score on here, I got score on here. The next thing that comes after score is slip, okay? So I'm gonna take some of my slip, put it along there on my base and put it along um, my coil and then I'm going to press it gently, because I'm not trying to like smush the whole thing, okay, onto there. And you know, if you have a little extra of a tail, just kind of like pinch it off with your finger, okay? So that's staying on there pretty well. Um, and then you remember the third S is smoothing. Um, so we will do a project where you purposely create a design with the coils, but for the initial project, you're go going to want to smooth out the coils so that you cannot tell how this was made. So then you're going to smooth the coil on the outside and I always recommend hold the inside so you don't push through. Okay, so you're going to kind of smooth down. This is again a great instance to use that um, plastic card that you have and you can kind of use that flat edge of it to help kind of smooth up. Or again, if you have like a wooden tool or something like that, this is great for using it to kind of smooth inwards. So you're smoothing the inside and the outside so that you can't tell that this was made out of coil, okay? Or if you don't have any tools, again, just use your hands. I, I love to use a wooden tool um, frequently, um, but you know, plastic, you can just use a utensil from the kitchen with approval, of course. Um, but again, plastic silverware is all over the place. You know, the next time that you go get some fast food, just rinse off your utensil, plastic spoon, fork, knife, those would all be good to kind of have in your arsenal, okay? So now I've got my first kind of layer building up. Um, so, and then you just keep going from there. So you just keep doing coils on coils on coils, making sure to score slip smooth along the way. So that again, um, so just for the, just for the effect, I'm gonna kind of quickly bust out a couple so you can kind of see. Um, Obviously your score slip and smoothing these along the way, but you just do layer by layer until you build it up to your desired size. Um, and again, we will be smoothing the inside and the outside for the initial project so that you can practice those three S's. If you do this, right, where you're just setting your coils, I am gonna come over and peel the whole thing apart because it's pretty easy for me to do, right? That's a lesson in making sure that you score slip smooth. You can't just set it on there, right? If I am able to easily pry it apart, then you have not score slip smooth correctly. So there you go. That is the um, coil technique. So practice that on your own at home and then bring me any questions that you have when I see you next in person. All right, be kind to each other. Bye.